Hey everybody, we're back. The sun is going down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we have got something in store for you. We have decided to add yet another camper to the stable. <laughs> yeah, and you know how much we love Uncle Vanny here, our awesome minivan. So, you know, we kind of consider ourselves van life people already. Hashtag van life. <laughs> <laughs> So since I'm sure this thing is going to be in the thumbnail of this video and there's no big surprise, let's go ahead and meet the newest member of the Retro Revivals family. All right, here it is in all its glory. That's just what I was going to say. Is it? It is glorious. I it am is. truly excited. Um, I've got to temper my excitement because of what we're about to see, but uh, <laughs> just bear with us. So we're going to do a walk around here, show you uh, the outside initially, uh, some of the flaws that it might have you know it's not it's not road worthy yet but we're uh we'll get there i feel like this might be our biggest challenge yet our biggest success story i hope uh, there's a lot of unknowns it's a 1974 to conaline 200 super van i could have told you it was super before we even had to say that <laughs> <laughs> all right this has the super desirable front end of a 1968 to 1974 second generation van. This is an E200, that's a three quarter ton chassis. It shares the same chassis and suspension as the F series pickup. The so, hood has seen better days. The hood is in pretty rough shape. Um, you can see some Bondo here uh, coming up. We uh, probably have to swap it for a better hood. Um, that would be my hope at this point. It doesn't even <laughs> latch properly. It's in pretty rough shape, like Christy said. Bumper's got a minor uh, dent to it. Um, that was probably somebody towing it out of where it was. Anyway, the grill looks like it's in really good shape. And uh, at least that's a good sign. Um, some of the trim, trim over here on the driver's side, really good. The fender, not too shabby. Um, somebody decided to key it or something at some point. Yeah. Door has a little bit of rust in it down here at the bottom, as would be, uh, you know, common with this age of vehicle. And we're in Michigan, of course. It's not too bad. I mean, our understanding, we don't know a lot. We'll fill you in on a little more of what we think we know, um, was that it did spend some time in California. So um, I think that might have saved it from some of the Michigan rust. We do have these hubcaps which I don't think are the original, but they're kind of cool. So going down the side of the van here, all of the glass is intact. Um, I haven't noticed any issues with that, which is a plus, but you can see that the weather strip and stuff like that around all of the windows, definitely a issue. Yeah, and my big thing when we were going to check it out for the first time was I wanted to know if these horns worked. Oh, if they don't now, they will soon. They don't now. I mean, they didn't. And so um, I feel like the horns are just about the coolest thing on this van. And we're going to need to get those going <laughs> you're, for you're sure. You're going with horns? That's the coolest the horns. part. <laughs> I mean, my big thing is as long as the horns work. Right. Well, to be fair, Christy will actually lean over and honk the horn <laughs> while I'm driving. <laughs> So, I'm helping. It makes sense. I'm, She's a horn person. I'm helpful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At the very bottom, you can see that the uh, rockers have some rust in them. Now, they're not horrible. Um, they're really solid down here at the pinch weld. It's uh, right here in front of the rear tire that is like the, the biggest sore spot. Not here or here so much, but right here. Um, but not a huge deal. When we came and looked at it, we didn't have a whole lot of time at all. It was getting dark. And so we pretty much just paid the guy some cash and put it on a trailer and brought it home. It was dark when we got it here, rolled it off the trailer. And this is really the first time we've looked at it in any sort of detail or depth since we've owned it. So we'll show you the outside and then take a peek on the inside. But um, we were actually working on Harvey. If you haven't seen our Harvey videos, check those out. Um, we were actually working on that RV and I'm, you know, working hard, scrolling on my phone, um, checked out Facebook Marketplace and saw this. And, you know, it's not the first time I've told Tyler like, hey, here's one we should buy. And he rolls his eyes and we move on with life. 
And I, I showed him this one. He's like, we do need to buy that. So we kind of dropped everything, um, messaged the person, hey, we want to buy the we want to buy the van um, we could be there tonight we just need to find a trailer and our neighbor who we don't even know that well was nice enough because this was a Sunday night um, nice enough to let us borrow his trailer and off we went showed up and the rest is history so here it is at a glance the single worst issue that we found was this drip rail where the fiberglass top comes down and butts up to the uh, the metal part of the roof and you can see it is in pretty rough shape um, this is actually probably the absolute worst spot but it is going to require uh, a lot of work um, ultimately i would imagine we'll have to take the uh, fiberglass top off of it and uh, do some metal repair that's what's going to take a while marker lights all that kind of stuff that's going to need to be replaced um, i haven't even started to try to source parts for this thing yet um, it does have a uh, gas cap that's nice mm. Mm. a little varnishy <laughs> back here on the back side of the van it's got the cool ambulance doors still has the license plate on it From what i can see it looks like it was last registered in october of 2005 so uh it's been a few years so the guy we bought it from had for a short amount of time he had been driving by this particular camper van uh to and from his house on, on the way to work for quite some time i think he said like 16 years and all of a sudden one day it was gone and uh he had wondered what happened to it coincidentally he goes to a junkyard and what does he see this camper van they hadn't even processed it yet uh, the title was still intact. They hadn't done anything as far as getting ready to scrap it. And so he decided he needed it. He buys it and immediately we enter the picture. Yeah, and one of the cool things is, you know, Harvey, our 1976 Dodge Cruiser. Look at this. This van is also a Cruiser. So I don't know. I mean, spelled different but i don't know right. if it's the same company can, or not so that's cool we can name it harvey jr or harvey two i don't think this one's harvey two although the color i mean maybe we'll have it to is see. a theme we do like our green <laughs> and white so the plan for this though is like with harvey we kept the retro look we didn't want to really do much with the exterior paint um with this guy i think we're gonna take it up a notch and um it's not a project that we're gonna do you know in a mad dash rush get it cranked out the door um we definitely want to make it a quality van that has you know nice finishes and nice exterior paint and you know kind of a total restoration i guess if you will Oof. boy those are strong words thankfully i know a guy with body shop and paint experience you can see the uh, the drip rail is in pretty bad shape back here. They tried to use some silicone to uh, hold off the moisture. That didn't look like it worked. Probably made it worse, really. Yeah. Uh, it's missing its spare tire, but it's got the cool uh, spare tire carrier. And right down here, where these three holes are, it should say Super Van. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get a Super Van oh logo to go there. And it has a tow package. Heck I yeah. I bet that's rated for like 10,000 pounds. So this little stamp here says the state of California. And so um, this is why the person that sold it to us said that it had most likely spent some time in California. Um, so we don't know the full history, like we said, but judging by the lack of rust compared to other vehicles like this in the state of Michigan, um, it wouldn't surprise us if it did spend some time out in Cali and it's set up with all the accoutrements Accoutrement. it's got your little furnace in here you've got your ac city water uh dryer vent no i don't know <laughs> uh, it probably is the hot water it, heater vent it, it yeah it probably is honestly we need to do a tour inside ourselves before we show you because we forget what it's like oh in there. look at that oh my goodness oh gross. Those are bugs? Uh, yeah. 
You no. just touch them. Taste one. Taste one. <laughs> uh, I'll wait. Th are were those? Those were legit bugs. That's what it looked like to me. Oh, that spells. My wait, let me see again. <laughs> That won't come off. What in the world? That is full of what now? Wasps. Is it wasps? Those are wasps dead in there. Oh, well. Oh my God. I'm glad they're dead. Oh, you can see here where the the rain or water would, uh, yeah, that'll be an yeah. issue at some point. So we got to get yeah, that taken care of. the window seal, that looks expensive, honestly. You can also see the difference in paint color here. This is the original, uh, what color would you call that? Mint. Oh, mint. Know. That's a good one. Uh, we'll have to look up paint code and see if we can figure out what the original was. But this is um, <laughs> baby poop? No. No? Olive. Oh, oh olive. I feel like we're not going to go with green on this, though. I don't know. It does look pretty cool, but I just don't know. I mean, honestly, I'm feeling orange vibes out of this one. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll see. So the same uh, or similar rust issues. It's got the drip rail. It's in need of some help. It's got some speed holes down here. Uh, it's a little bit the actual bottom side of the rocker is really good yeah um, this is the propane here so yeah. definitely set up as a camper and it does have the little we'll have to see if it automatically pulls out when the door opens yeah, those are pretty that sweet is super cool bottom of the door has some rust in it um, about like the other side but you can see inside here like uh, we'll have to pull up the uh, the vinyl flooring and stuff but it's not all rotten here's a wasp right here is it alive? Yeah. I mean, he's... Oh, oh, man. Is this whole thing a big wasp's nest right now? Uh, would you expect anything less? <laughs> Look and at the cute little mirror. Oh, my gosh. That is darling. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got some rust down here on the front of the fender. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm no expert, but this looks like about the worst part for the rust. Is that going to be the hardest here to fix or... <sighs> Well, it's going to, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. We'll just have to dig into it. All right, yeah, so we got this van, parked it here. We've been busy. We've been so busy, but we keep thinking of things, and, like, we're watching other people's van builds and things like that, and one of the cool things that they have is this step. When you open the door, the step comes out, and we were wondering, does ours have this? So this is the grand test on whether that works oh. wah, wah, wah. No. no it doesn't does it come out manually no <laughs> huh. i don't know we'll have to figure that out but um yeah. it has these luxury oh that's stuck together <laughs> curtains um i mean just Oh, cool, vapor like barrier. Vapor barrier. It's bubble wrap. <laughs> it's bubble wrap. So this door also opens all the way, which is pretty amazing. Right. Is this part of the step contraction? Uh, oh my gosh, we need to learn things. I feel like this is the actual step, and that's the mount for this step. Mm, no? I don't know. Ugh. No, I don't feel okay, like... Okay, you got me freaked out about the wasps. <laughs> <laughs> all right so do you want to get a shot of it in all its glory oh my gosh look at this beauty wait scan back down here it comes with its own wooden cup holder oh man. i mean it's not as good as the one i built but you know it'll do it's got a fan like christy likes too maybe that one <laughs> oscillates <laughs> maybe so the the roof has seen better days um, the whole edge around has seen better days. Pretty much okay, everything's seen better days. I don't wanna list every single thing, but um, the floor is kinda cool. I don't know, we'll have to see what kind of shape it's in, but this vinyl, I mean, oh picture that cleaned up. No, I'm serious. I know, didn't you say we were doing like a full rebuild, like restoration quality, SEMA show, here we come. Hey, if that floor is good, we're gonna keep it. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a coat of Minwax and we're going to call it good. Yeah, some pine salt. Anyway, it does come with artwork. 
Oh, what is, does it say it's, something? Oh, or it's just pretty? Yeah, I don't know. It's just beautiful. Right? So, look at this. This comes Ooh, with a compass, with babe. With a compass. Hey. It's got a spot to put your phone. Right? <laughs> it's got a spot to put your jar of peanut butter <laughs> or something. Peanut Whatever. Butter. I don't know what people do. Oh, hey, look what I see. They put in a power port. What? What are you talking about? Uh, some people call them cigarette lighters. I call them Where? power oh, ports. Oh, it's got a power port. Oh, right. So, um, my understanding is there used to be a family of raccoons actually living under this <laughs> couch. Um, I don't think they're there anymore. Uh, <laughs> I won't make you put that doghouse on your head. But oh. this, this couch, okay. It, it's a futon, right? But um, it's oh. there's no cushion here. It's gone. Um, <laughs> oh, You want to look under there? Um, I bet there's some treasure buried under there. I bet you're going to want to put some uh, armor all on the seat and reuse this. Oh, I can't oh, get it back down. No. So do you want to... Oh, <clears throat> do you want to discuss why this half of a drive shaft is sitting here? Well, one may say to themselves, shouldn't that drive shaft be straight? <laughs> yes. Uh, so the reason why it's parked, it actually has a two piece drive shaft and it's got a carrier bearing. So this is, uh, this should be from the transmission. Down here at this end is a, a joint. Um, and not just a U-joint, it is a like a coupler to a second piece drive shaft that goes to the axle in the back. And so in that uh, area right there is supposed to be a carrier bearing located in the cross member underneath. That carrier bearing froze up and it tore the cross member. Um, I mean, there's jagged metal, and I'll show you more about that in a little bit. But what we're currently thinking is maybe we could uh, measure and have a one-piece drive shaft made instead of trying to uh, get this back together. So we do have a little bit of a water damage issue happening here. Um, this coincides with where the drip rail is completely rusted out. So the water must have just been hitting that drip rail and just staying there and rotting everything in its path. So like Tyler said, there's a good chance we're going to have to take this roof off. <laughs> people still do that? No, people don't do that. And um, address the drip rail. We'll have to put a whole new wooden ledge here to have something where it sits on. But the good thing is... You know, we mentioned we don't have a pole barn just yet, but um, if this dome camper topper is off of here, we definitely could fit it in our regular garage. So um, it's possible that we could work on it even in the winter and just keep the topper off. So this whole, I mean, this is just like the fakey wood paneling. Um, it, it's gotten wet, probably leaked through here. We'll need to reseal these types of things. Um, there's a bunch of wasps up here too. A little terrified actually, but um, so this is going to need to come down. I mean, we can't deal with that. Right. But um, I mean, overall. What about back here in the back, that shelf? Is that like a baby crib or? Yeah, that's where you put your babies, I think. <laughs> and your pine cones. Yeah. Um. It's not a bed. It's actually meant for storage. No, and this is this looks like it was added on after the fact. This is just some stained plywood. Um, so we'll we'll be able to basically determine what type of layout we want to do in here. Do you want to put this one on like a Darth Vader helmet? Look at it inside. <laughs> what are right. those roots growing in there? Uh, no, that's uh -oh. the uh, the uh, fiberglass material. Oh, okay. So oh, we've got a dog house. Uh, Needs a little help, but we do have right. the cup holder to cover that. Well, we know up, how so. to spray paint them, so that's yeah. That is actually uh, that's foam, like uh, a soft pad. Uh, at one time, it was soft pad. Hold still, buddy. Um, this is the refrigerator, which actually is just like a cooler, basically. Oh my gosh, is it open? Hurt. Please. 
There it goes. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Drice. Drice. Colder than ice. To use, freeze in ice cube compartment. Freeze over and over again. It's a metal can full of water. Uh, huh. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> we got to keep that. We're going to mm -hmm. use that. Yeah, so right. basically you put your drice in there and you keep your food cold. Um, we'll probably go with more of a modern refrigerator, but I did just see something awesome back here. Don't Ooh. tread on me. Patriotic. The back like says it. proud to be an American. So oh, nice. There you go. Yeah. And happy Veterans Day, babe. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. We appreciate your service. Oh, that's nice. I don't think we've ever mentioned that before that you're a vet. No. Nope. So, nope. Tyler served our country. Um, here's a thing that says tea bag twice. <laughs> uh. Oh, I broke it. Oh. It said tea bag, tea bag, but it's the um, most fragile plastic in the world. Oh, and guess what's behind the couch? I hope a million dollars. Tea bags. Are you serious? Yeah, there's Lipton tea bags back there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know if this is the best like spot for this shelf to go. Ooh, I feel like it's at right in your, your kitchen. Well. But oh, oh my goodness, babe! Oh, is something gonna jump out at me? Maybe. Let's find out. So we have got silverware. Yeah. We've got this, which oh. <laughs> I don't know. It smells like pee in this drawer so bad. Oh, there's a can opener. We got a can opener. We got pot holders. We've got Some spatula. Shoot. Some of this stuff's usable. That looks like a fuse right there. We can move right in. Is that a fuse? No, it's a little out, those... uh, outlet adapter thing. Right. Same with that. So, oh. I don't know. I mean, is there... This probably shouldn't go here. Uh, I'm assuming. I right. could just... Maybe that goes there. Okay, let me just pretend we didn't open that drawer. Oh, Spoony. Come on. <laughs> um, Down here, we've got... Toilet paper, next pandemic, or set. Uh, wait a second. Did you see this? What? Oh, <laughs> dang, man. <laughs> Somebody's already used it. Oh, we got dish soap. Okay. Uh, that stuff. Hey, stay bill. That, I bet that's still good. And lead substitute. Oh. Wow, they were concerned about their engine health and they didn't want to put just old ethanol in there. And then that looks like a water heater. Oh, shoot. Is that not the cutest oh, thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life? Right. Good for one bolt. One Have nut. you seen anything that <laughs> tiny? <laughs> no. That's they, actually amazing. That's like a dollhouse WD-40. Right. It should have a, like a keychain on it so you can it just put should. it on your keys. If a rat jumps out my face, I'm going to flip Well. Out. So, water pump, water tank, water heater. Oh my gosh. Pie so plates? Hard. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, more There's tea some bags. holes in here. What is this? Screws? Oh, probably square head. Probably. Oh, more plate. Those are good. Hey, those are in those Ziploc. Are. Oh, Minus shoot, look the at these. Feet. Okay, those are actually kind of awesome. Those are cool. They're they're plastic. Yeah. Perfect. Those are sweet, actually. Don't get rid of Keep that in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Paper towels. Pots and pans. Um, oh, cereal bowls. Oh, this got chewed on, too. Uh, we won't tell the and kids. And <laughs> cups. Nothing too exciting. Oh my gosh, more pine cones. Who would have guessed? I wonder the I'm not odds. certain there's nothing yeah, living well, out no, here. Well, no, I, I kind of want to prepare for the uh, the possibility. 
I don't know how you can prepare for such a thing. Well, I mean, I don't know. Bird feeder, right? No. Is oh, it? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, does anyone that lives in a camper van carry a bird feeder? Look at Ooh, this a electric plate. skillet. <gasps> or electric skillet. Okay. That's sweet. That is sweet. There's a hose in here. That's good. Yeah. Put that right up to your water. Right. Okay, I gotta get my head down here. That thing. This thing. Uh oh, that's a coil wire. Alright, well we got coil wires. Yeah. That's it for that one. Okay. That's kind of a sweet skillet. That oven looks like brand new. I don't think a lot of people have been using that oven. Oh. Let's see if we've got a stove top here. What is this? The air cleaner? Yeah, that's the air cleaner. That's a cute little guy. Stove. Your... And oh, more... Yeah, more pine cones. Yeah. That could be oh, worse. Oh, man. Well, that was exciting. Right. So we have the world's cutest can of WD-40 and some sweet new plates. So Perfect. for what we paid, I mean, I feel like it was worth it. Just to get those things. So, should we talk about what we paid? Sure. All right. We feel like it was a deal. <laughs> right. So, we saw it listed for 1500 and scurried over there. Um, wound up being able to take it home for twelve. So, $1,200. All of this can be yours. No. Right. Um, I don't know. I feel like fixed up. We don't know what the plans are. I mean, for Harvey, we felt like we had a plan that it could be an awesome thing to take our kids camping. Um, if you look over there, we've got the Holiday Rambler. And the plan for it is kind of um, for my aunt to use it, at least this year, and go camping with us. That's a whole story for another day. But um, for this, I don't know, maybe by the time it's finished, I hope it's finished sooner, but maybe by the time it's done, the kids will be a little older and you and I can just take a road trip and All right. see the seven seas. Well, <laughs> well, what remains to be seen is uh, how good are the bones of this camper? Yeah, I, I get carried away. Before we get up there, though, can I show you the coolest thing here? Sure. So this seat, we have to see if the driver's seat does this, but... um. This bad mamma jamma swivels around. So, oops, I don't know which way. There we go. Wow. Look at that. What a captain's chair. Isn't That's that awesome? Slick. I do like that. I mean, the chairs are actually in good shape. Yeah. Like, look at this. Le I mean, this is leather, right? Mm. Genuine. Uh, look at it. Just look at it. It it is in really good shape though. No no splits in the seams, no cracks. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to make sure we save on those. Do you see how much farther back the passenger seat is than the driver? Yeah. And it it's not just because it's turned around. Like it's legitimately that much farther back into the back of the van. Right. So let me come over here. <laughs> the amount of floor space for the old feetsies there uh, isn't a large amount, but uh, we'll make do. So, I mean, we'll look under the hood. But right here, we'll look under the doghouse. It's a 302. It's got an automatic transmission. Um, the guy actually had it fire off of brake cleaner or um, carb cleaner. So we haven't had it running. Um, we will check the health on this, get it running, um, and stay running for a little while. And uh, so, anyway, we'll take a look at the odometer, too. Oh, dang, this seat is not in as good a shape as mine. No. Might be able to get it recovered, though. Yeah. All right. So, what do we so got here? So, we it have got... Dirty. The odometer officially says 32,072 miles. Okay. All right. So, you're saying... Oh, that's 132. Honestly, given the time that it's been off the road... Um, I mean, we don't know without taking the valve covers off and looking what the engine kind of condition it's in, but the brake pedals 
Like if it was 132,000 miles, I feel like they would be more worn than that. The gas pedal and the brake pedal are uh, mm -hmm. fairly intact. I mean, that could be 32 okay. original. What's this? I'm trying to unwrap some treasures here. What are we? Gross. I should have left my gloves on. What is it? Just literally a piece of cardboard? Uh, yeah. I think... Oh my gosh. I thought it was going to open into something. Okay. Does this open? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me back the blood stained cardboard. Gross. Sick. So I found the proof of insurance card. Um, it was insured effective uh, July of 04 to 01 of 05. Yeah, 1970, Ford Econoline. Um, that says Saginaw County. Okay, so this has been off the road since at least probably 05 so it looks like I mean, that kind of lines up with what the guy said that that would be 18 years yeah um i just found something for the windshield it looks like the windshield was replaced in 2003 so windshield hey. and the windshield seal Aww. 2003 so that's sweet oh and then something went wrong yeah oh look a fishing lure I know there's a bobber there too. Oh, nice. We got a 2003 Michigan fishing guide. Oh. So they took this van on fishing trips. How awesome is that? Yeah. Hey, does your seat swivel? It's like oh. a handle under the front that goes up. It goes up. Oh, there is a handle. No, stinking way. Put your armrest down. No way. I don't know what happened. Oh, I hit right. the steering wheel. <laughs> We could sit here and play part cheese uh, um, with one another. Maybe you just go after. Maybe. I mean, there's got to be some way I could figure out how to get past the steering wheel, right? I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so the okay, floor. the old. Yeah, but still got the old vinyl there. Oh, here's where the brake master cylinder maybe is under there. I don't know, but the floor, how solid is that, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. That makes me think it has whatever 30-something original <sighs> thousand. It would be cool. Um, I hope I have enough daylight to show underneath because it is pretty rust-free. I mean, it is not in in bad shape at all. Well, why don't we do that before it gets much darker? Okay, I do want to crawl in the weeds. Yeah. So I'm right back here in front of the uh, driver's side rear tire. The uh, frame solid still has the original white paint on it i don't know why they painted the frames white like that but anyway uh up underneath it doesn't look too bad honestly we've got a toe strap here holding up the uh the front drive shaft um i had it backwards the drive shaft that's in the uh camper is the one for the rear going back to the axle so anyway the uh you can see right here where it tore free from the cross member and that was a carrier bearing right there so both drive shafts meet right there um, at some point that failed and that's why it got parked and i guess indefinitely let me see if i can get around to the other side and give you a better shot of some of that stuff over there Here's the gas tank. It looks like it took some damage. It's got a little bit of a crease to it there around that strap. But as far as uh, how solid things look around here, here's your frame rail. Um, let me see if I can get up in this wheel well. So here's the front. This is the uh, passenger side rear wheel well. All of that is very solid. No issues. Um, got your exhaust. It's very tight over here because of the propane and the step, so I can't actually get under this side. We'll have to get uh, get under it um, after it's jacked up. All right, so taking a peek under the hood. Oh, Most yeah. of it is visible from the inside, like in a lot of these vans. For sure. But, so what are we seeing? Uh, washer jug. It's still got the lid, but the uh, it's cracked. Here's a horn. I don't know if you want to use that one or you want to stick with the air horns. 
We hundred percent need the air horns working. <laughs> I don't think I it's need. non-negotiable. Oh. Wow! Ooh. Yowzers! Oh, she's. Oh, she still got fluid in her. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, perfect. Yeah, perfect. That tin foil is a nice touch. Right. Oh, okay. No, oh, dual horns. Here's your second one. Oh, nice. Wiper motor. Um, I mean, yeah, you really can't get to anything up front here. It is tight. Might have to source a new hood, or at least new to the van hood. All right. Like oh, stick. this is the dipstick. Oh, my gosh. It's a longy. It goes all the way to the axle. Oh, my gosh. Well, um, we just, well. Hey. It's full. What does that smell like? Yes. I don't think you're a real car guy unless you taste it. You mean to taste it? No, don't taste it. Don't taste it. Don't taste it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> kind of gassy. Gross. How would you even know what gas tastes like? <laughs> Who doesn't know what gas tastes like? Have you ever siphoned anything? I have never siphoned a thing in my life. Well, well I siphoned a fish tank we're once. Going, we're going to go home and... <laughs> have you ever had a mouthful of fish tank water? <laughs> um, No. I bet it's worse than Fish gas. Fish tank water. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, probably so. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. So there it is in all of its glory. All right. So it's officially getting dark outside. We hope you guys have enjoyed the tour of our future project. And I'm um, sorry I made you taste test the oil. I peer pr I'm, I'm good at peer pressure. I've tasted worse. <laughs> How do you, okay. So if you like what you've seen here and you think that this van was worthy of saving from the scrapper and you're excited to see our progress, um, we hope you consider clicking that subscribe button. Um, you could throw us a thumbs up if you think it was a good idea to save this guy. Um, throw us a thumbs up if you think it was a bad idea too. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> hurt either way. And don't forget, uh, leave your comments down below. Um, we'd like to get ideas on this. And if you have any information on 1970 Ford Econoline vans, hey, I'm listening. Like We're listening. Say, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, we hope you come back to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.